Aww, animals. Bears becoming vegetarian because of global warming. Are you hot? Looks like global warming is getting so unbearable that grizzly bears in Alaska are now going vegetarian. According to a new study, grizzly bears on Kodiak Island changed their diets due to climate change and started eating berries instead of salmon. Normally, researchers would see grizzlies eating large amounts of sockeye salmon from streams in preparation for the winter. In the summers of 2014 and 2015, the bears were no longer seen hunted for salmon. The bears were found in the hills eating elderberries. Warmer temperatures were causing the berries to ripen earlier. This meant that salmon and berries were available at the same time. Elderberries contain less protein compared to salmon and require less energy to digest, leading to faster weight gain for bears. The change in diet was also found to be affecting the bear's natural habitat because fewer fish carcasses in the forests meant less nutrients being absorbed into the soil. Ooh, that escalated quickly. Hundreds of sheep plunged to their death in the Pyrenees on the French-Spanish border after being chased by one naughty brown bear. After the native Pyrenean brown bears were wiped out by hunters, the French government began to repopulate the species in 1996 with brown bears brought in from Slovenia. A descendant of one of these brown bears became the furry predator that launched an attack on one member of a flock of sheep, which scared the fleas off of some 200 others, causing all of them to hurtle over a 650-foot-high cliff and, um, die. 169 sheep were discovered in a Spanish village, while some more were found on the French side of the border. Bear fur was discovered on one of the sheep's bodies, strong evidence that a bear most likely prompted the mass accidental suicide. This comes almost exactly a year after more than 130 other sheep died in similar fashion. Although the French government will reimburse the farmer for his loss, the incident has upset farmers on both sides of the border who blame the bears for the attacks. A local branch of the French Farmers Federation is upset as well, as sheep breeders have protested the presence of bears and wolves in the past, which they say threaten their livestock. Currently, there's about 35 brown bears that exist in the Pyrenees. Although protected in the region, a bear was found with a gunshot wound to the chest in northern Spain last year. Arctic polar bears stalk Russian scientists. A team of Russian weather experts are under siege from polar bears at their post at a remote island in the Arctic. As many as 10 adult polar bears and several cubs have encircled the scientists at their weather station on Tronoy Island, about 90 miles off the coast of Siberia. The five researchers have abandoned some of their weather observation duties because it's just too dangerous to go outside. Polar bears are a protected species under Russian law, so the scientists are not allowed to shoot the beasts. Instead, they have flare guns to scare the bears away, but it seems like that approach isn't working. In fact, the researchers have run out of pyrotechnic deterrence, and one of their dogs was even killed by the polar bears. Russian officials are sending more dogs and flares in an effort to protect the personnel on the island. Further respite for the scientists should come within the next two months, when winter truly sets in. A Russian official explained that the polar bears will leave the island when the nearshore waters freeze in October or November to go search for food. Wildlife is like, um, wild. The world oohed and awed at a video of a dog petting polar bear that went viral last week. But what we all thought to be evidence of a heartwarming interspecies friendship turned out to be just another predator playing with his food. The video was shot at the Mile 5 Dog Sanctuary in Manitoba, Canada, where owner Brian Ladoon claims his pets have a special relationship with these Arctic beasts. In reality, Ladoon has been feeding the bears for years to dissuade them from picking off his dogs. But it's illegal to feed polar bears since it emboldens them to seek out human communities for food, making attacks more common. Ladoon learned this the hard way one night when he forgot to put out food for the bears. Just hours after playing nice with one puppy, the very same polar bear, now feeling a little hungry, then saw another dog as a big pile of chow. And since Ladoon keeps the sled dogs on his property chained, there was no stopping the hungry bear from digging in. The animal was later taken away by conservation officers and put in a holding facility. Another bear and her cub were reportedly removed as well since they too were reportedly being fed. 
Bear, rescued from bile farm in Vietnam, splashes around in pool. This is Tuffy. He looks like he's having a grand old time, splashing around in this water pit. And he finally is. But his entire life leading up to this happy moment can only be described as excruciating. The day before this video was taken, Tuffy was transported to safety by an animal rescue group from a bear bile farm in Vietnam. There, he spent his days confined to a tiny cage. His feet had likely never touched ground. Tuffy's fate is shared by an estimated 10,000 bears in China and roughly 1,200 more in Vietnam. Why? For their bile, extracted from their gallbladders daily. Bear bile is sold in many forms, from flakes to pills to powder or as liquid in bottles. You can even find whole bear gallbladders on the market. For more than 3,000 years, many Asian cultures have carried the belief that bear bile can be used to treat a variety of human ailments hemorrhoids, sore throats, epilepsy, fevers, and the improvement of eyesight, just to name a few. Bears used in the bile trade are either captured in the wild via steel poaching traps or born into factory farms, enslaved for up to 30 years before their death. Their cages, known as crush cages for obvious reasons, measure 4 feet by 5 feet by 2 feet on average, robbing them of the mobility to stand up or turn around. Bear bile can be extracted in a number of ways, all of them incredibly painful. Most methods involve cutting the bear open and inserting a catheter or similar device through the abdomen, then puncturing the bear's gallbladder. This is usually done without anesthetics or pain medication. Bile then drips out of the gallbladder and is collected in a bag. The catheter is sometimes left in permanently to facilitate an auto-drip function for continued harvesting. Chinese herbalists and scientists alike have found no proven medical benefits of using bear bile to treat human illnesses of any kind. Yet the worldwide market stemming from bear bile production and bear parts is estimated to be a $2 billion industry. In 2005, Vietnam placed a ban on bear bile farming and production, but loopholes still exist to allow the cruel trade to continue. Rescue groups like Animals Asia are working tirelessly for the remaining 1,200 bears in Vietnam factory farms to be released into sanctuaries like this one, realistically planning for practices to be eliminated by 2020. If they remain on target, the hope is that Tuffy here will have plenty of company bathing and having fun alongside him pretty soon.